hard tummy. Right, so I'm gonna switch around. Try not, oh my goodness, look at my double chin. Lockdown's been bad for the diet. Thanks, Karen. Okay. So just give me a little second to the computer catches up so that I can make sure that I can see myself crafting properly. There's a, about a 20 second delay, um, so just bear with me a wee second. So this box, um, I've gone for traditional green and this is called Shaded Spruce, this shade. So to build the box it's really, really easy. You just fold all the sections. Okay, this bit comes up like so. Tucks right in. It's easy peasy. Now I've got this shiny side to the outside, but if you put that on the inside, uh, Tammy's saying her chin's bigger than mine. Bless. Um, it's uh, food safe. But I quite like that it's shiny on the outside. And I'm not putting food in here. Okay, so you just basically do that. And then you secure these little tabs in here. And I've ordered myself 30 of these. That's how amazing they are. Now these have been in the annual catalogue for six months. I just got them last month. I don't know why it's taken me so long. Because they're, they're just adorable. Right, so put that to the side. So, let's build one from scratch. Okay. Morning, Kirsten. Right, so I have some tissue paper here. Guys, I don't know why I, I always have to kind of sing at the end of my sentences. This is going to be a little belly band, hopefully. I've got some layers here. Okay, so we've got the, the um, shaded spruce for the bottom layer, then a wisp of white layer, and then DSP. This is a new one from the Curvy Christmas. And if I can find it, hang on, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. <laughs> yes, it's just not something over. So this is classic Christmas DSP, and there's lots of festive colours in here and lots of lovely little patterns. Quite a plain pack but ideal for dressing up presents and stuff. So we have got, I think this is Rich Razzleberry or Blackberry Bliss, let me see. Shaded Spruce, Cherry Cobbler, sorry, Sahara Sand and White. That's the colour schemes in here so imagine how many little um, presents you could decorate just for one pack of that. So that's quite good. Okay. Hi Margaret, oh we've got 20 on, say hi if you've not said hi already, don't want to miss out with anyone. Lady. Morning Ali. <laughs> Miss Smith, <laughs> Smithy, Smithy, right, brilliant, okay, so I just want to explain, I've prepped all these um, in advance, I will continue to make these little boxes after. So what have I got here? I've got a retired ribbon, which is the shaded spruce. You can't, um, I'm sure you can't get that one out. Okay, I have made these adorable little toppers. Now this is the largest stitched shape um, circle die. Um, I added some ink blending on a little, just a little uh, rectangle here I stamped. And then I added the Wink of Stella on the little gnome. And on his nose, I used the shimmery of crystal effects, and then I've just stamped in coordinating colours. This is um, pool party as well, so really adorable. So if you haven't got known for the holidays stamp set, there's still time. Still time to make fun cards. Um, can't find the stamp set at the minute. Um, I don't know if you saw that I dropped my laptop laptop down the back bottom of doing the back of my stamp storage and all the stamps fell out so they're all mixed up and I've not had a chance to fix them yet. Okay now this one was made it's got the shaded spruce card it's got a wisp of white topper it's got DSP on the back because there was excess um, from these wee sheets so I used it to make the label and um, again I did the shimmery effects on here it's quite cute and then I used the um, Oh, what do you call that? That um, 
the banner punch. I used the banner punch. So you can see if I've made a few of these. So they're really adorable. And you know what? A lot of people when they see green they go yuck. But these um these are actually they're they're really 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 sweet. Okay, so let's move the excess pieces out the way. Right, and let's put the shiny side on the inside. We'll pretend that it's been filled with lots of nice food. So you just want to fold over all your scores. Now these are really handy. You could make them yourself. Um, doing your own scoring and cutting. But everybody knows at this time of the year, um, if we can save a little bit of time, then that is all good. So we just fold it in and then the two little tab bits here stick in. Okay. Like so. You could line the inside as well. But you can see the shine on this. This is um, perfect for putting cookies in. Maybe some homemade tree bakes. I know Jean's a, a, a keen baker. Right, so let's uh, decorate it. So the matte layer is just going to go on the top. Now these measure, I'm sure it's 4 by uh, yeah, they're 4 by 5 and 3 quarters, no, 5 and 7 eighths. But you've got to take into account the little margin here. Okay, so the bottom layer needs to be 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. Right, let's get some glue. Nope, wrong end. I went through so much glue yesterday making up those um, gift boxes. Just lucky I've got a good secret stash. Okay, so you just want to use wet glue. If you do have this, um, the shiny side and outside, you just need to be careful because wet glue will skate, slip and slide, um, and that's when you end up getting, getting all... Um, glued up on your fingers. Okay, the middle layer is three and five eighths by five and seven eighths. Let's make sure that's right. Yep. Okay, pop that on. And it's just a little, um, I think it's an eighth of an inch border. Right. So we could go with the little trees or we could go with this. These are actually going to be gifts for men. That's what I'm thinking. Or some kids. Um, I've actually ordered a few things out of um, my local lady, Avon Ladies book. And they do really nice jewellery and stuff. Katrina's saying she th the boxes are bigger than I thought. Definitely. They're really, really good. They would also be good for you with your um, um, your melts and stuff. Obviously, you would need to charge a little bit more because, I mean, this is good quality reusable project um, box. So, right now I have a strip of, I think this measures two inches, two inch strip, full length of the A4. Okay, all we're going to do is, you could measure it out and. Um, score it accurately. However, to save time, I like to just do it by eye. Okay. And that way you're making sure that you have got some wiggle room. So all we'll do is we get some wet glue, like so. And we make sure that we're getting good coverage on there. Ashley's saying she loves the gnomes. Been using them in Ashley. We use them. Um, we use the same project quite a lot. We must have um, a, a, a sixth sense between us because we always tend to do the same things. <laughs> Only you do this and cut stuff. It's that, I think that's spooky. Um, Jean uh, Karen's been making uh, note cards. Margaret. Oh, I'm enable enabling Margaret to maybe get some of those little boxes. <laughs> yep. Um, Ashley's saying the clear acetate ones are good quality too. They are. They sure are. Um, they're really, really thick as well. 
Right, well, all we're going to do is stick the little gnome topper on top of the belly band. And look how beautiful that is. So just hold it a little second, make sure it's straight. And you will notice that I quickly made sure that this can move on and off easily enough. Isn't that adorable? Tammy's saying, you and I for sure are getting together to craft when this is all over. We sure are, and I can't wait. Can't wait. Right, let's get our retired ribbon. I don't normally use retired ribbon um, in my lives because I want to encourage people to try the products that I'm using. Um, however, because these are going to be used by myself for gifts, I made a little exception. Okay, so I've just tied a little knot and there we go. All I'm going to do is tuck that in there. Obviously you could um, stick it on or tie it or you could glue it under the belly band. But I think that's really, really sweet. Let's make another one. And then, if I can get it out of the packet, then we can go on to the actual um, handmade box. Right, I'm going to keep the shiny side inside. Thank you. Yes, definitely. The, the reason I've been making so many boxes as well is because I'm awfully terrible for buying pretty paper. You know, the designer series paper packs and then hoarding them and not using them. Oh, I'm doing this the wrong way. I want the shiny side inside. So I'm determined to use up my DSP more because there's so much that you can do with your papers. Okay, right, sorry if I'm out of shot slightly. Katrina Singh would make a fab Happy Meal box, it sure would. And these are the perfect size for large letter in terms of postage. Like one more fold here. Right, just going to tuck that in. Can I say, I have been, um, I've not been colour gelling my nails. I've only been putting up a base, a base gel and the top gel on and then heat setting it and when it comes off it's not damaging my, my actual um, nails as much. She now has her catalog open. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I've ordered three packs. They're awesome. They're little mini paper pumpkin boxes. I think they're four by four. They're um, adorable as well, but obviously you can't get as much in them. Right, another layer. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Fab. Right. I literally spent all day yesterday making up these um, gift boxes to sell and um, it was just so much fun crafting for myself and then um, sharing the pictures to hopefully inspire people to that you know maybe are trying to do Christmas on a budget Hi Tracy my friend all the way from Australia I hope you're well I hope you're well Wow I like that, but that's a bit busy on my eyes. So I'm not going to use that side. I'll use the other lovely side. If anybody doesn't know um, Tracy Bish, Tracy is a demonstrator in Australia. And we do a monthly blog hop together with a few other demonstrators um, across the globe. But Tracy's projects are amazing. Please go and look her up. Um, She's really, really talented. Thanks for popping on. And she's a really good support to me as well. Real good support. Right, so we're just doing the belly band again for this one. Make sure it's all lined up. Stacey, if you send me a little message, I can um, send you a catalogue. No problem, because we still have six months left of this current annual catalogue. Um... 
and we also have the mini catalogue that runs to the 4th of January so if you send me a message I'll post the both of them out to you hun that's no problem okay so there's a little belly band now this one's a bit tighter but it's still movable which is the main thing and these were made just with two colours of ink you know um, if you've only got say one green ink pad you could do the whole project with that um, and this is what I love about the Stampin' Up! because everything does coordinate. Now I do have a new hostess code. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I do have a new hostess code which is on my Facebook page if you look back some of the posts. And if you spend under £150 and if you enter this hostess code, it allows me to claim some extra product on my um, workshop order and then I get to share those out those freebies out with all all the shoppers that have spent under the 150 if you spend 150 yourself you will get the 10% so you get an extra 15 15 pound to spend just for free any excuse to buy more products huh? <laughs> oh that's no problem at all Stacey. And there's another little box. So great for crafting when you need to craft really quickly. Um, let me finish this box as well actually because um, if I don't do it then I will maybe just put it off. Okay so just grabbing that round there. Okay so we have a flash um, 24 hour sale starting in the UK on the um, 11 o'clock on the 23rd of November um, most of the annual catalogue items do have um, additional 10% off so say if you bought a bundle um, where you automatically save 10% some of those will have another 10% so you would save 20 so if anybody is ordering I would wait until after 11 o'clock on um, Tuesday night um, and it is only for 24 hours okay so if you want to shop online just give me a little message I'll share my shop page um, yeah get your crafts on okay now this little sentiment says there's no place like gnome for the Christmas season really is adorable and one of the other sentiments is a little Christmas wish the two in the from this was from a different stamp set but there is various ones in the catalogue that do have that. Um, Jane saying I've done these boxes and they look much better just covering the top, definitely. You could go all out, Jane, couldn't you? Um, doing all the edges, but you know what? I think the, the top is where people are going to look. Um, and by adding a belly band, it makes them even more sweeter. So, Okay, and these um, little gnomes are absolutely adorable absolutely adorable and I genuinely genuinely haven't crafted as much for Christmas items um, until this year I don't normally um, get over excited about Christmas because I find it very stressful um, but this year uh, the products that we have available has really helped to motivate me to be crafty for Christmas so look you can see how quickly we made one, two, three boxes. Okay, so I'll set them aside. And we're going to make this little box, okay? Now, all I need to do is grab some thick wisp of white. Let me take this out of the, um, the folder so it doesn't shine on you. Oh, I already have it here. Look, I'm organised. <laughs> oh, I see that. It does help when you prep everything in advance. Um, so this morning instead of going running around crazy trying to sort things out I had a lovely bath and I binge watched some um, program on uh, Netflix morning Tina oh Tammy's saying she's homesick oh bless you Tammy do you have family in Canada still hi Margaret <laughs> Thanks, Anne, for your compliment. Right, so what we're going to do is 
I need to quickly check if I cut this down. This gets cut down. I'm trying to think what size. Hang on to find my measurements. Give me a wee second. Because they are on my website. And I'll give you the me measurements just now. Da 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 da. Hope everybody's okay. Right, just give me a little second. I know where they are. Here they are. Not as organised as this diagram. <laughs> All right, okay, let's go. So what we need to do is get a trimmer or a cutting cutting apparatus of some sort. Okay, and what we want to do is put it the right way round for starters. Let's move that green. So this needs to go down to um, six and a half. And we're not taking anything off the length. Now the length is, in case anyone from America that is watching later, um, our length is just short of 11 and 3 quarters. So it's an 18th of an hour. A sixteenth of an inch smaller than eleven and three quarters because the European A4 sizes are different um, from the USA size. Oh look. <laughs> Hi um, Rachel, hope you're alright. Oh we've a few people from Australia, that's good. Right, so on the long side we need to score at Let me move my mouse out of the way. We're going to score at one, one inch, five and a half, um, six and a half, and eleven. And this box, um, this this um, edge here is slightly smaller than the first score, so this is actually going to be a little flap. Okay, we turn it around and we're scoring at one, at one, and then five and a half, or you could flip it and do, do it at one. Okay, Ta -da! and then you get something that looks like that. So we're going to cut one, two, three, one, two, three, and we're going to take these big bits away. So it's really, really easy. I am using the fixed cardstock though because um, you want it a little bit um, sturdier. Oh, I've got an eyelash in my eye. Sorry. Ooh, that's a bit nippy. Okay, I'm going to grab my rounder puncher. So this is a trio punch. Um, we've got the corner rounder here, we've got this lovely decorative bit and this little bit for, like a hole for a little tab. So I've rounded the corner of the flap. And I've also added a thumb notch in there. So for that, I am using a little retired punch, which is the half an inch circle punch. This is perfect. I wish they would bring it back. Right, so let's fold and score. Sorry guys, I've got my fringe is getting too long and I don't know if my, it's irritating um, irritating my eyes. So we're going to fold and burnish all the layers, the score lines, sorry. Can't even speak properly today. Okay. It's sometimes really hard to see the score lines when you're videoing, especially if it's white. Okay, right, now scissors. So with the shorter edge on the right hand side, we're going to score, and um, we're going to cut here, and then we're just going to take a little, tiny little triangle wedge out each side, and that just gives you more wiggle room for lining it up here and here, and it prevents um, a, a little overlap. Okay, so this one awesome if you wanted you could instead of cutting these bits away 
you can see if you didn't cut those bits away you could do like just a box that would fold over but this one I'm doing to go on the inside just because it's a little bit different <laughs> just want to be different okay so we're just cutting away these little pieces Right, I've got a little delay with the comments, folks. Um, I know you're chatting amongst yourselves just now. Right, switch it around, do the other side. Take a little wedge out. And this one. You just need to pay attention when you're doing this because you don't want to accidentally cut away the wrong pieces. <laughs> Easily done. Right, so I've not actually decorated one of these yet. I just concentrated on the, ta the template. Okay, so fold in like so, so that we can tuck it in here to get the um, rounded corner. Like so. And I had to do the same on those flaps as well. Just to make it look nicer. Okay, now before you glue it, you want to kind of make sure that your measurements are right and it is all even. Yep, happy with that. Okay. So this is the tucky in flap section, which means over here is going to be the thumb notch. So you could cut it out by hand if you don't have one of these. And that's it there. Hi Jackie! Hope you're well. Hi Carol! Lovely to have you here. Okay, now it's how you adhere it together is entirely up to you. I always tend to use um, wet glue. But what I'm going to do first is we're going to decorate this top piece, okay? Right, so I have some more of the green, okay? We have this little tag. You can see what I'm doing. I'm going with the, the same kind of colour schemes. Okay, so this box measures an inch in height by four and a half squared. So this little layer is four and a quarter squared. Okay, so you just want to pop that on the top. The middle layer is... Um, An eighth of an inch smaller. I'll let you do the calculations. <laughs> no, it's a quarter of an inch actually. I want you a bigger border on this one. And then the DSP is four and one eighth. Let me measure that. Four squared and this is three and three quarters squared. So it is a quarter of an inch increments. Stacey's in Paisley. Oh, that's fab. Awesome. Okay. So we're just popping that on. Right, let's glue it together now. So, piece on there, and you're just bringing it round and marrying it up like so. Yes, Ashley, it'd be good for 4x4 four four cards as well, hon. De most definitely. Oh, I've moved that slightly. Definitely. It's been ages since I made an actual card. I'm just um, really into the boxes and stuff just now. Sorry if you can hear banging, but my husband's um, been removing all the, the rubbish from our garden on the back of doing um, our oldest son's attic bedroom. So, let me just tuck this one in here. Okay, and you're just lining up. He's removing a lot of wood, so there's, it's right outside the my window I'm afraid so sorry if you can hear that I'll batter them later 
<laughs> Tell them he's been too noisy. Right. Okay, so we're just gluing this bit in as well. Why am I singing the um, Bullseye theme tune? Okay, and this tucks in like so. However, we need to take a little piece of these edges. So I'm just going to take a little triangle off. You could round the corner if you wish. And this allows it to shut a little bit better. Now, I remember, I had to actually remove some more from these side flaps because it was um, catching on the box. So you could kind of do that by eye. And then it goes in perfect. Lovely. Okay, let's see if we can get the belly band round. I think this might be too short, actually. So let me let me add a little extra section on. Right. So I'm gonna pop it like this. We're just gonna grab it. You like how I just make it up as a go, everyone. <laughs> That's the whole fun part, most definitely. Right. Oh, it does fit. Have some faith in yourself, Trisha. You did measure it. If it was shorter, too short, you could add an extra extension like I had to do with my um, bigger boxes. Only because I don't actually have any 12x12 12 12, um, cardstock, except the ink colour ones that are tired. So, hi Sue. Thank you. I love the light picture too. I can't wait to uh, till probably mid-December before I turn it on. <laughs> My son's birthday is on the 19th of December and I always feel really bad that Christmas kind of takes over. Um, I did ask him um, if, if he wanted me to um, put off putting the, the tree up, but he said no. Right, I'm going to pop this um, little circle disc with the shaded sentiment bit on here. Now, I'm just going to do that. If you want to use tear and tape, perfect as well. Okay. Ali saying, thank you so much for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. You are welcome. So, I did make... Did anybody see my little um, teacher gifts? I'll show you them now. So I made these with some retired cellophane 2x6 bags. I used the duo of the heart punches and the curvy Christmas and these little lint chocolates are in with some tartan paper. Now I've, there's nine of these so uh, it cost me nine I've got I've made nine pound basically when people come and collect them um, and the chocolates were only five pound. So if you're smart um, you can earn yourself some extra pennies. Which is good, especially if you're um, trying to make a little bit extra money. We all know that craft fairs etc aren't taking place right now, so that's a bit annoying. Okay, so let's get the wonderful shaded Bruce and gold retired ribbon and um, pop it in. You could also get a little bit of twine and tie like so and make these really pretty at the end but um, because I'm using these as personal gifts no one's going to look and notice that so um, I'm just doing the little knots like so and I just pull it round and kind of tuck it in the back there so there is another little box handmade so yes these ones cost 70 pence each this one just costs the, sh the size of a, an E4 sheet so if you've got time to hand hand make things, great. Or if you just want to decorate a pre-cut box. But aren't they adorable? So I have some more... Um, let me put a present in this, actually. So let's remove that. Let's take it off. Oh, the dogs are annoying my son through there. 
So I'm going to take that off, get the little crumbs out of it. I have some tissue. I can't remember where I bought this, but it is awesome. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it into over itself like so. Okay, that is going to go in there. You could put a glue dot on the top and bottom, which would keep it in place. Okay, so I have a little gift here that's for someone in my family that I, I know they probably won't be looking at this, but that's fine. Okay, so let me take all the stuff out. So this is a lovely little bracelet. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this bubble wrap and I'm going to put it in the box. And it just makes it a little bit more special. So we're going to add that in there. Discard the rubbish. This is a little charm. Um, you know, I think this, both of these cost me five or seven pound at the Avon. Um, this one's got a little key on it and you would just attach it to the... Um, what do you call it? The bracelet. So that's really pretty as well. So just remove the backing. All I'm going to do is keep that in the bubble wrap and um, pop it on the top. You could put some extra little things in there if you like. We're just going to tuck it in. Okay, we're going to add the belly band back on. She says. <laughs> Stacey's saying that that's it, Tammy. Get four or five wee presents on his birthday, then everything else at Christmas. I know it's such a shame when the kids are so close. Ta da! So there is another gift. Love it. Let's decorate this and then that'll be us done for the day. Now, this we're going to decorate different because I have. Highland Heather. I have, you can use any colour schemes you want, they will turn out pretty. We've got the Whisper White layer and then I've got the Snowflake Splendour designer series paper. ta -da, Like so. What else do I have in here? I need to be careful because these are all pre-cut for my projects. So we have this beautiful ribbon that's in the current catalogue isn't that lush okay what else do i have in here we have the word we have a this is um highland heather hi helen this is highland heather um you know the soft suede paper that we have oh my goodness i've just dropped it all over myself we've got um the fuzzy paper cut out into the word joy. I've also got some piece words etc but they're for other projects. Okay, we have some of the Snowflake Wishes die cuts. So there's three sizes. So I've prepped all these because these are going to be made into other gifts off camera at some point. There we go. There's the three sizes. It's good to keep these separate if you're if you're doing a, a bulk because it keeps them nice and flat. Okay, right, hang on because everything's fell in my lap. <laughs> oh, such accident prone, am I? Right, nothing's on the floor. That's the main thing. Right, so <gasps> oh, somebody send me back to bed. I'm obviously um. A bit icky finger today. I just placed these in here to keep them flat so they wouldn't be damaged. So there we go. Keep them like that, Trisha. Awesome. Okay. Some jewels. Right, what I've got here is we're going to make one of the tags similar to the, the last boxes. We're going to actually make them the now. And I have a square stitch shape that we're going to pop on the top and 
I have a big piece of wisp away so that we can make a belly band for it as well. Now I've got another present here. This is a lovely little brooch that I got for a fiver as well. And by putting them in these wee boxes and stuff, it does kind of make the value look a lot more than it is. Oh, no worries, Tammy, if you, you're heading off. Oh, that's perfect. It's lovely talking to you guys as well. Oh, Margaret, my uh, son was actually due on the 22nd. But he was early, thank goodness. Okay, right, let's take it at this one. So, this is the same. It's got a little bracelet and it's got a little freebie thing in there. So, I'm just going to close that. Okay, we'll just start sticking on the layers. Okay. Now, I like this um, designer series paper because it's got various colours in it. So, you could use any coordinating cardstock, you see. So I'm just popping that on. It's a little bit harder to um, make sure it's all sticking nice when it's built. Um, Sue so saying, Stacey, I always watch the video and write them down, the measurements. That's good. Sorry, I've missed some of your comments, folks. The measurements for the top of the paper pumpkin. Yes, um, I do actually... Ralph's um, paper pumpkin boxes, these ones, I will put measurements up as well, um, uh, the boxes are just short of 8 inches, so the boxes size is 7 and 7 eighths by 4 and a quarter um, by an inch, the paper layer, hang on let me check, It's five and a half the first layer by three and three quarters. Second layer is three and five eighths by five and three eighths. And the DSP is three and a half by five and three quarters. I will double check and I will pop them up, hun. Okay. So. Let's get, oh that's my husband away in the pickup truck, pick truck again, again. Right, let's see all these comments because I keep missing them. Oh, that's fab. Yeah, these two boxes are different sized, so um, I'll give the measurements for this one and the paper pumpkin. Um, I do have the um, diagram for this, so this will be put into a free tutorial for you ladies. Um, and I'll put all the instructions on there as well. Right, let's just pop this on. So this is the last project. I hope you're all going to go away and run to your craft room and make some lovely homemade storage. <laughs> Pressure's on. Right, let's do the belly band. Okay, so make sure it's centred. Just do that by hand. Give it a little room so that it has wiggle room. Okay, just take note of where the glue needs to start from. Then you just press and hold. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks for sharing the links, guys. I will pop it up on my... Um, as well. So there's a little belly band. Now remember the notch needs to go to the front. Sorry, this is looking a bit dirty, this box, because um, it's a bit inky. Okay, so this is our little belly band. So it's square for a change. You could do anything, you could do ovals, whatever you like, but I thought because these are square boxes, this would look lovely. Okay, so what I'm doing on this one is, we're doing the word joy, and then we're going to attach some of the snowflakes. Right, now for this, I need um, little tweezers. don't think I've got any, but I do have my, well, I did have my fine tip glue. 
Oh, here it is. It's right in front of me. What a sausage. Now, these are really thin words, so. So just make sure you get a little bit of glue on the top, middle and bottom so that you're getting good stickiness. These are perfect, these little fine tip ones. So I'm just going to pop it on there ever so gently. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, with a bit of paper, I'm just going to hold that down for a second to flatten it. There we go. Because I don't want that glue all over my fingers. Oh, Stacey's just went into her craft room. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Brilliant. Sometimes you just need a little push to get that inspiration back, don't you? But I've been there myself many times. Right, so let's glue this on. And I do need the fine, fine tip glue pen as well. <laughs> just ready to put it back there. Okay, so just adding some glue. This is a lot water, water, waterier than the um, the Tombow. So again, if you don't want all glue, just get a bit of paper and push it down like so. Ta-da! And it is going to be a delicate belly band, but it doesn't matter. It looks pretty. And to be honest, most people aren't actually going to keep these gifts, are they? Which is kind of heartbreaking, but... Not everyone appreciates the work that goes into the handmade stuff, but my um, most of my family um, do, so I'm quite lucky. Okay. Right, we have a little love heart here. I think the two snowflakes is enough. Yep, definitely. Let me take that off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to put that little extra snowflake in there. No point in me keeping it. <laughs> you could um, die cut a lot of things um, and put them in. You could die cut the little snowflakes so it's like little... Um, oh, what do you call it now? You know how you get the sprinkle things? You know, those little... Um, oh god, I can't remember. Tina's saying she's sick crocheting in her craft room as it's my sitting room. Oh, bless. <laughs> my craft room is my dining room. But I've got about quarter of a space in it so that's not too bad right so there's our topper and I think I'm going to add the little hair onto the end of the Y I'm just going to use my tombow actually for this one okay so I'm just doing that and it is overlapping over the edge but I think that's adorable right let's get some bling I was looking for these um, yesterday when I was decorating other boxes Okay. Next week we are going to do um, we're going to do a Yankee Candle box. Again, I've, there's free download of this on my website already. Confetti, thank you, ladies. Oh, hi, Sally. I didn't see you in here, hun. We're going to do this one next week, okay? Why not? Why not? Right, let's get this glue away in the first instance. Don't you just get annoyed when you can't? You can't think of a word. I just, I think because I've got Amy, I get a lot of brain fog at times. But can I say today, my tinnitus is not bothering me today. Yippee. Yesterday was awful. And ringing in my ears continuously. Right, we're going to use the basic rhinestone jewels. You could use the basic pearl jewels and colour, colour them. Maybe add some blue in there. But this one we're just going to make really, really sparkly. So we're just going to add some random on there. I think three is plenty, to be honest. Like so. If this was um, this section was normal, you could add... If it was normal paper, you could add the wing Stella. But I don't want to risk making it look wet. What you probably could do though, is you could probably get, um, if this was playing the wee heart, you could put, you could put these shimmery effects on there, that would look nice. Right, anyway, I'm yapping. One more thing to do is to make the, um, label. So we have the triple band punch, 
and um, you will also need a hole punch of some sort. This is an office one. This is um, you can get these online anywhere. Just a little hole punch. Right, so you can punch these out individually or you can do all three at the one time. I did test it yesterday. Cuts three layers, perfect. This is not thick whisper white, this is standard. Maybe that is why it cut okay. Right, so give me a second. I am going to... I am going to use... I'm trying to find my stamp set. Sorry, guys. I really am. I thought I was organised. But I'm not. What am I looking for? You know what? I am just going to... I'm going to use the Peace and Joy because this coordinates with the dies. I'm going to stamp some sentiments on here first. I'm going to stamp them in Highlands Heather. And we're going to add some pool party on it as well. Right, what you need is a bit of paper. Okay. Da, da, da. Still got 19 here. Is the shimmer still available? No, the shimmer is, is still in the catalogue. The shimmer, um, this one. So that's fab. Right, I just have a block, folks. For those of you that do craft fairs, I bet you're really missing missing getting out and showcasing all your beautiful stuff. Okay. Now we need to remember that when we're using the banner punch it is going to take off um, some at the bottom. So if we stamp kind of up here. So we've got Christmas. Let's get out the words that we need. We've got Mary. So let's, no, let's do happy actually. So, we're going to stamp happy. Love it. And then we're going to stamp Christmas. Like so. You could stamp, I've got ink on here. You could stamp and um, cut out and layer these up um, if you like. Right, take that off of there. I need to clean my little stamps after the live. Okay. That's the wrong one. I need the balmy blue. Oh, my desk's getting messy. It's getting messy. Right, for this we are going to... Going to take the little holly. Going to stamp that. Stamp that here. Can you see that? Sorry if I'm off off shot there. Um, then we're going to get the little holly berries. I must do that in the purple. Your cat has just opened the door, Rachel. Oh, bless. <laughs> right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So really simple tag this time. Happy Christmas. It was just to show you how easy it is to use the triple banner punch. You could do any of these. Um, actually, one of my team lady friends, Rachel, has used these and put um, in her cards before and put a, a bling in the middle and they look really, really nice. Almost like firework effect or stars effect. So that's really good. Make a really nice uh, New Year type card. Right, okay, let's glue this on. Okay, so we're just... Now, the measurements for these are the Highland Heather, these are 2 by 4 and then we've got an eighth of an inch difference in the, in the stamping layer, okay? The DSP for on the back, you could leave that plain if you like, but I just like to add a little extra touch. Like I say, I'm trying to use my DSP. Um, that is 2x4 as well. And it just goes on the back like so. Use your bone folder to flatten that out. 
Okay, we're going to get the punch. Okay, so this um, goes up in three um, sizes. We've got um, half an inch, three quarters, no. We've got one inch, one and a half and two. So see if we just pop that in there. You can see it's going to cut it off. What I like to do though, is I like to put it in and just double check that it's even and then punch. Be careful you don't catch your skin in here when you're doing it like that. Try to get it itself and it is sore. Okay, and then we're going to use this. Now this does hurt my hands. So I need to use two. There we go. So I've just punched a little hole. I'm going to use this beautiful ribbon. Your cat wants to say hello, oh bless. Carol said she'd missed the shimmery crystal. I actually bought it in last year's catalogue. Right, now this one, this is such a pretty, pretty ribbon. What I'm going to do is get some twine. This is just going to be tucked in into the box. You could add a little glue dot to keep it secure. Okay, so all I want to do is get a little bit of white twine. Now the pressure's on. <laughs> you can see I've cut these nice at the end. Like so. All we're going to do is try to wrap the twine around. I'll apologise now because my fingers aren't the best. Wrap it round, pull it. Tie it and then do a little bow. This is the one I struggle with, is this little tiny little bows. It doesn't need to be perfect though. Oh look, I thought I grabbed it there and I hadn't. Oh, hang on, let me try. And then that'll be us finished for this morning. It always goes really fast. But that, that's a good thing, right? Now it's sticking because I have glue. I've got glue on my hands. Ah, somebody come and tie a bow for me, please. Oh. Let me start again. I'm not happy with that. And I know you wouldn't be happy with that. Oh, thank you, Ashley. You're so kind. You're so kind, hun. And it's quite sad because we um, would have been going to my Uplines team retreat this month, but it had to be cancelled because of COVID. Um, but I do not miss the potential drive to Telford, so there's always a positive and a negative, isn't there? Right. Me trying, trying to tie this little bow is going to take us about half an hour over time. <laughs> there we go. That'll do. That's a nice little bow. And it's tight enough. So that's another option. Or you could just tie it at the end. And we're just going to pop that in there. Like so. It's beautiful. So that's one present. That's two presents. That's me finished. So happy. So I can cross off another two on my list. Um, these I think I'm going to be using for the children and put a voucher in them with some sweeties um, for um, the kids in the family. Um, not my own because they'll know exactly where um, where that came from. And um, yep, Santa. Santa doesn't do crafts. He just gives presents. So anyway, folks, um, that is it for today. I do hope you can. Um, go uh, go and try make some of these little boxes for yourself. It really is worth that little bit extra effort. There's no fighting with um, rolls and rolls of Christmas paper. Um, it's ideal. And you can obviously adjust the box sizes according to the gift size that you have. But like I say, if you were to buy these little signs and things out of your local home stores, I mean, who wouldn't love getting that in a present? You know, and it's a pound, what about five pence for the, the paper and about a pound for your box supplies. Um, a couple of quid and that looks absolutely amazing. And then these ones have the five or seven pound gifts in them too. Okay everyone, um, I'll go just now. I will finish the live. It will be uploaded, uh, shared shortly and I'll also um, upload it to YouTube 
later on this evening. Yes, Margaret, you're right. The first time I met you, honey, um, I'm sure it was in Telford, wasn't it? Most definitely. Okay, everyone, thank you so much. I'll speak to you all soon and you have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. See you later. Bye now.